What is going on everyone? I am here to bring you a tutorial on how to get music on your stream for either Twitch or whatever program you're using now these days. Because as you guys have seen in a lot of people's stream, requesting music and having music in the background is a really, really nice and cool thing to have on your stream. But that can be quite difficult for newcomers, so that is why I'm here for you guys. So first off, what you're going to be using is a program called Nightbot. So if you go on Google and go on Nightbot, it's a nice program that you can use on your Twitch stream, YouTube program whatever you can use it there to request music for either yourself or for your viewers to have music in the background so like I said first off what you're gonna be doing is going on the website Nightbot, and right here it's gonna be telling you to log in so I'm gonna be using twitch so I'm gonna be using it I'm gonna be logging into my twitch username and account so before I start off I just want to say my username is Kev's universe if you guys do want to follow me on Kev's universe on twitch it'll be down below I stream really really fun and nice games it's really cool hopefully to see you guys there but when you're finally signed in to your username, you're going to be seeing a lot of programs right here like commands, giveaway, logs, etc. But we're going to be mainly focusing on song requests. Now I'm going to stop this right here real quick because I actually just forgot to tell you guys something really important while I was editing this. And that is you actually have to have Nightbot partner to your channel to either your YouTube or Twitch. Now, as, like, like I said right here, right here on the top right, you're, you're going to be seeing something that's called a uh, join channel. Right there it said partnered, but now I just have to remove it real quick. You're, it's going to say for you since you're new, it says join channel. All you're going to want to do is press join channel right there, and then right here it's going to be telling you the next steps. You're going to want to copy what it says right here in the red, where it says slash mod to nightbot, either on your YouTube or on Twitch. And then go either to your Twitch or your YouTube streaming program, and in the chat section right here, you're just going to want to right click and click paste where it says slash mod nightbot. Click on the chat right there, and then it says Nightbot is already a monitor to this channel, which already was, but for you guys, it'll say My Nightbot is autumn has now been set as a moderator to this channel. And then once that, once that is completed right there, it'll say right there, part channel, because you are now completed to the channel, and you are now set for the next step. So there's two things you're going to be seeing, auto DJ and playlist. Auto DJ is the songs that are going to be playing in an auto DJ format, and playlists are all the songs that you're going to be having. So, I'm going to go to my auto DJ right here and let the song quickly play. Uh, of course, right now it's muted because I don't want to get any copyright issues. But, right here for you guys who are new and can begin seeing this for the first time, most likely this is going to be set for blank for you guys. So, let me quickly go over to some of the features for you guys to see and handle here. Right here uh, on the top right, you're going to be seeing a couple of toolbars. Um, the first one is disable. This is if you want to enable or disable having your stream viewers actually requesting songs. So if you, this is most likely if you're a small streamer and if you want your viewers to request their own songs from either YouTube or SoundCloud, you can have that enabled. Right now, it's currently enabled. But if you don't want, if you don't want anyone to request any songs on your stream, you can disable that. Clear queue. Depending how many people have requested songs in your stream, let's say you have maybe 10 people request songs, but then you want to listen. To it's just your music you can clear the queue right here and just clear all the songs that your viewers requested requested songs right here this is if you want to request a specific song during your stream that you don't have maybe you have a viewer who gave you a link to a song that they don't know how to do it you just paste a link right here and then boom it'll play once the current song is over Right here in the settings, this is where a bunch of the cool settings are going to see for the playlist. So right here, you can see, for example, who is going to request songs. Do you want to set to everyone, your subscribers, your regular people, VIP, moderators, or maybe you just want yourself. You can click that to whatever you want it to be. Currently, there are only two providers for Nightbot. There used to be, of course, Spotify, but they unfortunately removed that quite a while back. Unfortunately, you can only use SoundCloud by YouTube, but hey, those are one of the two best platforms to listen to music. Um, of course, for the playlist, you can have your very own playlist. You can have Monster Cats playlist or a Twitch music playlist. But of course, you mainly want your playlist, so you want to have that checked to channel. Right here, search provider, you can have what you want mainly used, YouTube or SoundCloud. I mainly like YouTube, but you can have it to SoundCloud if you like. Limits right here, you can have how many songs that you want to be requested in the queue. Say, for example, you have like 20 viewers and all 20 of them are requesting songs. At the minimum, you can have maybe 20 to have that so it won't overflow the queue. User limits. Each person can request a total amount of two songs by default. You can increase that more if you want one person to to play two songs or more. The level, you can have that changed to the usernames to be half above the limit. So I mainly have it to VIPs to request even more songs because if you set it to everyone, then you can have one person request like 100 songs. You never know who that can be. So I have it set to VIPs. 
um, right here is an extra YouTube channel uh, tab where you can have it set to either uh, limit to specific YouTube videos like right here I have it checked where it can allow only songs that are have more likes and dislikes that way you don't have any trolls requesting you songs that aren't good and you sh and aren't really songs so that's right there so those are the main, main key ports right here. Now, to actually put in the songs that you want to play, you actually have to click the playlist section right here. Once you're in the playlist section, like I said, if you're new, you're not going to be seeing any of these songs. They're going to be empty for you. What you're going to be doing is importing your or adding your songs. If you already have a playlist from either your SoundCloud or your YouTube playlist, you can enter it right here and it'll put them all right here in the section. If you don't have any playlist and you want to insert songs one by one, all you got to do is add song and then put the URL of the song and it'll put them in one by one. There isn't really a limit to how many songs you can put, you're just going to input all the songs you want. And then once that's done, they're going to be put right here. Once they're set right here, you go back to the auto DJ and the auto DJ will start playing them. Now, I will have to say there is a downside to Nightbot and when it comes to playing songs is that it's going to be set to auto DJ and that's the only set of songs you're going to be seeing. So the song that's currently playing is going to be the always, is going to be always this song that's going to be playing unless it's a different song. As you're seeing at the bottom right here are other songs. So say for example you have to refresh Nightbot or you end the stream and it says right here that the next song that's going to be playing is this song. But unfortunately if you exit out of auto DJ and then go back to auto DJ, as you can see another song is going to be playing instead. That's why it's specifically called auto DJ because it's going to be uh, specifically auto playing the songs. So the unfortunate thing about this is that you could have some songs that could be played multiple times in your stream while other songs in your playlist can almost never be played or be rarely be played. That's one downside, but it is, it is auto DJ, so it is pretty nice though and it's better than nothing, I do have to admit. Now on screen I'm going to be showing you are some issues that people are having, like myself. You're probably going to be getting this issue called queue is empty or the queue list is not there. What this means is that the Nightbot is currently not working or it's having some issues. Now you could use the web browser of Nightbot to uh, continue playing your playlist, but if you want less issues and you want things more organized, I recommend downloading the Nightbot app based. Beta. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys to check it out. Here it is, the Nightbot app beta. You can download it through Windows or OS X. Um, like I said, I'm mainly using Windows. So once you download it, it'll go right here. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to be downloading it again. Once you do download it, just make sure you install it to where it should be. And then once that's done, you'll get the Nightbot app. Here is the Nightbot app now. Like as, as you guys can see, it's an app right here that you download. All right here. Once you open it up and you sign in again, it's plainly the same as the original Nightbot as the browser, but this is on your app right here. It'll always be here for you guys. It'll be more organized instead of having just an auto link right there. Not only that, but it fixes the auto queue section and there are extra stuff to be enabled. Now, not only are is this going to fix the queue issue song, but there are also extra things you can do. One thing that I have seen, of course, is having the song queue playlist on your stream. So have, if you ever want people to tell you, hey, what's the name of the song while you're streaming, you can have that right there where they can see it. So if you go to settings, you have a new tab right here called Nightbot app. This is what's going to be seen on your stream if you have it enabled. I will show you guys how to enable it in one second. But right here is the title of the song, requested by, and then also the user of the song. So you can edit that if you want to have maybe like the song playlist of the person who made the song or change the title or something else like that. I'm going to leave it as default because it's the best one so far. So if you actually want the songs to be shown on your stream to show with the name of the song and the playlist, let me show you quickly how that's done. So I'm going to be using OBS because OBS is one of the best programs out there. Like I said, this is a little bit of my songs playlist for my stream. If you want to check out my stream, it'll be down below. I hope you guys can check it out. So if you want the playlist to be shown on your stream, all you're going to do is just hit the check mark, hit text, create a new one. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to just name it songs real quick, but you can name it whatever you want to make it seem more organized. Click OK. Make sure you press read from file. And then after that, you press browse. And then it won't be shown right away for you guys. But for you guys, it'll be shown under your users, your name, your documents, and then Nightbot. And then after that, you'll see this called current songs. That's what you want to check on. I already have it checked right here. So you click on it. And there you go. You can change, of course, how it looks like. If you want the color to be black, if you want to have a background, etc, etc. I'm going to just leave it as default. And there you go, you have it set right here. The current song that's playing is Just a Dream by Nelly Lyrics. And as you can see, it's set right here in the Nightbot. And of course, once the song finishes and the next song plays, 
it'll be done right here in the stream. So of course, you're always gonna have those people saying, hey, what is the name of the song? What is it? It's kind of annoying to tell them uh, over and over again what's the name of the song. Like I said, it'll also show requested by. It's requested by me, Kev's Universe. Whenever you have your viewers requesting the song, it'll say their username as well. So this is why I highly recommend the Nightbot app because like I said, you can put on your stream the song request that you want to put right there. Also, you can use hotkeys. So if you ever want to press with the touch of a button, like say you have a hotkey to press number one to automatically open Nightbot or music, you can use that right here that you can't use on the browser. Also, like I said, Nightbot app also fixes the issue, issue that you're seeing on the screen where it says the queue is empty. The Nightbot app fixes that, which is really, really helpful, and I've had that issue for many, many times. Lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys on stream how the effects work to request songs for your viewers. So right here is my stream. To request songs, all you got to do is use the following command, exclamation mark SR. Exclamation mark SR stands for song request. I've seen people use the actual full list, song and request. You, to make it really, really short and simple, you can use exclamation mark SR. And then after that, your viewers can do one of two things. They can either one, put the name of the song. So for example, if they want to put the current song that's playing right now, Thompson Stay High, all, you, all they got to do is just paste that into right here. Or if they want to make it more simpler and to have less issues, just paste the URL or the name of the song. And as you can see right here, once you press, once they press chat, the nightbot will be in here that says Thompson Stay High by House Nation has been added to the queue position number one. Like I said in the earlier in the earlier of this tutorial, I did say you know how many positions they could be put in the queue for certain people or etc. to be to make that a lot more organized for your stream. But that about does it. Once that's done right there, as you go back to the nightbot, it'll be done right here at the bottom. It'll say requested by and we'll have actions if you want to skip them or not. The song is currently playing right here and it was requested by me so you won't really see it. But once a viewer does request it, it'll be at the second song. The current song that's playing will be continue playing once that song is over. The next song is the song that is put in the queue that was requested by the viewer. And that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Like I said, if you want to check out my stream, we have a lot of cool stuff that we play and engage with reviewers. So I hope you guys can check us out down below. I'm Kev's Universe. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.